So this is finally the video about the homemade table saw. The saw was built around the motor unit from my dad's old Shepach job site saw. I think it's about a 5 horsepower motor. The blade can be lowered and raised as well as tilted. For dust collection a shop bag can be attached. I made this fence out of some pieces of mild steel and an aluminium extrusion. For cross cutting I used this cross cut sled. And the maximum depth of cut is about 8.5 cm. I put a router lift underneath one of the wings, so the saw can be used as a router table. I began by building a simple box made from birch plywood which will be the body of the saw. The pieces of dowel give the screws some cross grain to bite into. I then made these hinges by drilling a hole through the steel and then opening the slot with a hacksaw. Then I cut these supports out of plywood. I glued and screwed the supports into the main body and then I attached the hinges. and some additional drywall screws, just for safety. I made this template which will allow me to cut the right shaped hole for the crankshaft support into the box. The nails scratch the radii into the plywood and then I mark the corners by pounding the tips of the nails onto the wood. First at 0 degrees and then at a little more than 45 degrees. And I got it right at the first try. Now attaching the bearing blocks for the tilting spindle.
I'm welding a nut to a piece of 3 quarter inch pipe to create a follower nut that will push the motor unit around. I then drilled holes into the motor unit and attached the nut using a piece of steel shaft. And it works. And with a bit of paint and some hand wheels it looks decent too. Next I made the base of the saw out of some MDF. For the tabletop I cut a piece of plywood to rough size. I laid out where I needed to create a cutout for the motor and the table saw insert. Then I milled the space underneath the miter slots. For attaching the table supports I had to remove a bit of paint. I drilled holes into a piece of steel tubing so I'd be able to screw it to the saw. and a bit of construction adhesive to hold them in place. The steel tops were spaced apart using wooden blocks and then screwed in place. For trimming the tabletop to the right size, I first used my circular saw. But because I thought this was too hard on the little saw, I then used my chop saw circular saw conversion. And this left me with a really clean cut. After drilling the hole for the router table I changed my mind and cut it rectangular using a jigsaw. Then I made these little thingies to hold the table saw insert. After that I had to attach some more steel tubing because the table overhangs the saw base quite a bit and wouldn't stay flat.
I also added some dust deflectors. Then it was just a matter of setting the blade parallel to the miter slots and then tightening the table to the base. And finally I made the dust shroud. So I hope you liked this video and thanks for watching.